So I, I think it's a normal human reaction. The first reaction would be, you know, uh, fear. Uh, fear that you won't be able to accomplish what you are asked to do. Fear that you do not have the necessary skills to do what you're supposed to do. We saw that in, in, in the Blessed Mother, no? Uh, when, when she asked, how can this be? How is this possible? The hesitation was, the order is so big and I really do not know what to do, to be honest. And the Procurator General, Brother Ben, from the province of, of England, he told me, well, the one elected is free to say yes or no. But the chapter will still decide whether to accept the no. Because the chapter can compel the one elected. If I may cite as a master of the order who was here in the university, it was Benaventura Garcia Paredes. When he was elected, he refused actually, but the chapter compelled him, asked him to accept. And there is no other way. We are under obedience. I was reminded of what is really supposed to, to be done. So I accepted because I trusted the entire process. The entire election was a prayer. It started actually the day before the preparations, uh, Holy R, Confession, Mass of the Holy Spirit, and right after the Mass, they went to the plenary for the election with the invocation of the Holy Spirit, the singing, etc. In fact, the culmination was the profession of faith of the one who is elected. So it was an entire liturgical celebration. It's solemn. It was an act of prayer. And in that context, you have to believe that the hand of the Lord was, was there. It is not the master of the order who determines the, the road map or the itinerary for the order. It is the general chapter. It is the general chapter that legislates what should be done for the next three years until the next general chapter and so on. Since 2010, the project was restructuring for the sake of the mission of the order. So provinces joining because provinces are shrinking in terms of the number of brothers in some parts of the world, but in other parts there is growth. And so we see the establishment of new vice provinces and new provinces. The brothers said, well, our restructuring is almost complete. We should go to an internal restructuring. That is why uh, since Bologna, three years ago, the chapter has created a new assistant to the master or socius to the master, the socius for fraternal life and formation because we want to focus on the formation of all the brothers. We are not just talking of initial formation, we are talking of formation which is an entire process until death because we are always in a state of formation. We are always learning something new, we are in a state of transition, transition in life, stages of life and, and development. And we need to be formed. So that is one of the main foci of, of the order. I, I think the structure of the order provides any superior with the necessary support. A provincial has his provincial council. A prior has his conventual council. The master of the order has the general council. We are collaborators of the master, so it is our duty to assist him, to help him carry the burden of leadership. There are certain decisions that he has to make, and sometimes these are difficult ones, tough ones. But before he makes those tough decisions, he listens to the members of the council. So I am not alone in carrying uh, that burden. I think the most consoling invitation of the Lord is, come to me all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. We should not uh, forget the image that the Lord is using. Take my yoke upon your shoulders and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. So when he says, come to me and take my yoke, he's like saying, come to me because we will carry it together. And if we carry it together, it will be light. In the order, we have brothers who help us. So it is not lonely at the top because in the structure of the order, in all levels of governance or leadership, there are always brothers who are there to support and help, provide guidance, probably even present contradictory opinions, which is important so that the master, the provincial or the prior can see other perspectives too. So when we listen to people, 
whose opinions are contrary to our own, it is a form of a help because they help you avoid making errors because you were blindsided. So we must learn how to listen to contrary opinions. Well, when I come back to the Philippines, I would be 60 years old. I will be a senior citizen already. I hope I can come back to teaching. It depends on my provincial at the time where he will assign me because I will be, you know, just like any other brother.